So yep. explain to me a little bit, because I know some of the some of the listeners probably don't know about the tier system. Can you give me like a kind of like a blanketed layout of that and what it entails? Yeah, so the tier system that's it's a it's a system developed by Joe Ken. Mm. And so it, it's essentially a template. There's it doesn't have predetermined exercise selections necessarily. It's just total body train every session is a total body training session. And the true traditional tier system, it's a three day split, three days in the weight room and then four days in the field. All three of those days in the weight room are total body. So you're going to hit an upper body, a lower body and a total body movement. Um, so generally the week will be, uh, it'll go in the order of TLU, meaning day one, the priority movement, total body movement. So that might be a power clean. It might be a trap bar deadlift, something like that. Then the second, the tier two of that day, the L, standing for lower will be a second tier lower body movement. So if a you know tier one lower body movement was a barbell back squat, then maybe a tier two lower body movement is, you know, a rear foot elevated dumbbell split squat, something okay. like that. And then uh, tier three being the U on that first day of the week, that's a tier three upper body movement. That might be a single arm press, something like that. All right. So that's day one of the week. Then it, then it rotates. The second day, the priorities change. All right, so now that upper body is going to be ULT, meaning the priority movement to your one of the session is upper body. So that's going to be, you know, a big bench press, a standing overhead press, you know, a big compound upper body press. And then, you know, go to the third day. Now the lower, the L, is the tier one. So that's going to be your big squat, uh, if that makes sense. So you're just, ro- you're just every day is total body. You're just rotating which day gets the, you know, gets the priority. Yeah. And the intensity changed based on the day, basically, right? Correct. The focus and the intensity. Yeah. So generally that, that, you know, priority one movement is going to be your training for strength. That tier, you know, that second tier, you might be training it for dynamic effort. That third tier, it's going to be a volume hypertrophy. Now with the dynamic effort, are you doing that pre like high intensity strength work? Or is that going to be after for like more of that power endurance type work? It's actually after. So yeah, he, he's a big believer in, in training explosive movements in a fatigue state because uh, just the thought process, uh, the thought process being we're playing four quarters of football. We don't just need to be explosive in the first quarter. We got to be maximally explosive in the fourth quarter. So he believes in, you know, training guys to be explosive in a state of You've seen, and I, and I know you've probably seen tremendous success with that, obviously, you, you know, with the, with the program that you're running. Um, now, is there any way that you're, you're managing fatigue from an objective standpoint and obviously a subjective standpoint? Is there anything like an HRV monitor that you're utilizing or anything like that? Yeah, so we've, we've done different things over the years. We, um, you know, we've played around with HRV stuff. We've done, we had a system called Sparta. Uh, where it's just a force plate, you know, they, they stand on the force plate, they do a jump land, and then the plate assesses their landing mechanics and kind of picks out some uh, muscular imbalances, things like that. Um, and then the strength staff, we're working very closely with the, uh, with the sports medicine staff, and we're looking at all the GPS data that we're, that we're accumulating. And, you know, we've got, we've kind of got some, our, our GPS analyst, he does a lot of work, basically taking all that data and getting a sense of, hey, this guy's been getting a little, you know, more workload during this week than we'd like him to. We're going to back him down on that final practice of the week. So we're really using that GPS system to stay on top of how much volume these dudes are getting in practice. And if a guy's kind of pushing it, where we can see, hey, you know, he's really kind of surpassing the volumes that we'd like to see him in, you know, at this point during the week leading up to a game, then we'll talk to his coach, say, hey we got to cut that guy's reps in the next practice. Or we might even tell the coach that during a practice because we can live track the GPS data during the practice. We've got a laptop set up and we're, we're looking at the data, you know, come to us as the players are running live. So, I mean, if, if we notice a player, he's, he's really accumulating a lot of workload in a given practice, we'll go up to his coach, you know, five minutes later and say, hey, he might have five more reps left, but then we got to cut him. So that, that's been a big part of, of objectively managing fatigue with the guys. 